on guys? Cody here with CJ Build. Thanks for tuning into the channel. And guys, today is finally the day we've been waiting for. We are going to start tuning the Honda. The P28 has arrived and we have it all pretty much for the most part ready for tuning. Um, the only thing left to put on is the wide band. But today guys, we're going to be installing the P28 with the jumper harness and also setting up the data logger and the emulator to the computer, getting that all wired up and at least working. So that way next weekend when we put the wide band, we'll be able to start tuning the car. So yeah guys, jump right into it. Let's go hop in the car, get the supplies and let's start getting this wired up. All right guys, so we're finally at the fun part. Here I have all the stuff we need to get the ECU in to start tuning it. Here's the jumper harness. And here we have two chips. This one is the chip burner, the emulator, the data logger, and then over here we have, let me get this off, the computer. So let's go ahead and open this up so we can start connecting the emulator one night and start tuning this thing. So we are in the P28 right now. Here is where the chip goes. Right in there. There is where the data logger goes. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and wire those up real quick. I'm gonna show you how I do it and what way they go. Cause if you put them backwards, they do not work. At least I know for sure the emulator won't. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those and then get it ready to install in the car. Alright guys, now that we got the ECU wired up outside of the car, we're going to take off the ECU on the car currently to get it ready for installation. So it's open here. Oh nice. It falls right off. So here is our beautiful current ECU. So go ahead and take off this bolt and then get out here. Look at that beautiful spider. Alright guys. So give me a second, let me unbolt this, get the ECU off, and then we'll get ready. Guys, we have it all wired up. I'm gonna go get my laptop so we can connect it and start up a base map. So now I'm going to grab, I'm gonna grab the USB from the emulator. No, this is from the data logger. I'm gonna get the one from the data logger and connect it here. And I'm gonna disconnect my mouse real quick. Okay, so now this is the one coming from the emulator. I'm gonna connect it here. Now we're all connected. Let's go ahead and open up Honda Tuning Suite. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna go to File. Let me do it with the mouse. File, Settings. We are using the Modes Ostrich. Shit. Modes Ostrich. Time update. Right now we're gonna be using the stock O2. I do have a wideband that is on the banana that we're going to be ripping off and putting onto this car to use it for the wideband AFR so we can get accurate AFRs right now it's just going to probably be bouncing around but this is just so we can get a base map on the car and start messing with it a little bit <clears throat> okay I think we're okay with that let's go ahead and start a base map OBD1 415 Okay, it's a stock map, 
stock injectors, some 92EX. is our transmission uh, i'm gonna leave all this checked for now if there's anything here that i'm doing wrong guys please let me know remember i'm going based off completely just watching a video online <clears throat> the other day and just kind of guessing a bit get this out of here so start enable vtech I'll leave vtech alone for now <clears throat> ecu p28 Okay, so right now we have a base map. Something I did see that they recommended was kind of flattening out the map, maybe like two times. You can see here we do have a bit of a spike. All right, guys, honestly, right now I want to test and make sure everything's working. So I'm going to try turning on the car real quick and see if it does actually log. All right, guys, so sadly it was off camera, but I did get it to work. Pretty much what I did was I disconnected the USBs reconnected it and i also had to go to the settings and it was trying to smart scan these and ended up picking com port one which is pretty much where the usb is connected um i fiddled around with these a little bit and these are the ones that worked and the uh, emulator is working so i guess it really does depend per computer but that's what happened with me so let me go ahead all right guys, so pretty much we have the emulator working, the data logger seems to be working. Um, right now, I'm not gonna really start tuning the car because, you know, we don't have the wideband on. It's gonna be pointless because next week we're gonna connect the wideband and the tune's gonna be completely off. So, honestly, it does seem like it's idling pretty well and it is a base map for a D16. It is for a Z6, but it seems to be running pretty well. Um, I think I'm just gonna go around the block, give it a quick rip. If it runs like crap, then we just bring it home. I'm not going to go very far because I know the base map isn't made for this motor. But, guys, this car is meant to be a beater. I want to go beat on it. Well, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys were able to see how the P28 was wired up and all that. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Surprised that the car actually pulled pretty decent um, when they had the exhaust leak. And honestly, on the other computer, it was a little bit sluggish. It did seem like it picked up maybe like two horsepower. And no, but I was just excited. Like it did feel like it pulled a little bit better. You know, it feels pretty good for a base map. Let's get that horsepower up. Let's get it ready, and then we'll slap a turbo on it. Thank you for watching guys, see you guys next week.